If y'all was looking for me, here I am. If you a hater and you don't like me, then don't like me. Smelling on me soon as I walked in. Really do all that talking. I see what shoot is y'all off then. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Um, Today is Real Talk Tuesday. I'm feeling good. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is B. Octavia. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Washington, D.C. In Real Talk Tuesday, I talk about what society's issues are today, specifically the people and the events that had a positive and negative impact on society on our community on the world so let's get into today's topic today i have a question the question is is plastic surgery now considered high fashion without further ado let's get into it so i was scrolling on instagram today and every day you know what i'm saying and i see this person is modeling for this this person is modeling for that even on the shade room they promote certain brands that only have plastic surgery inclined people people that have plastic surgery only model for them they are being discriminatory because you can pay for the curves that they have and it's real people out here that have real curves that are not accepted in the same industry in the fashion industry so i have that question and i really want to ask all of you even fashion nova after a while it was hard for me to actually find something on there um, because it was all plastic girls now i'm not the same body type as that so I would have some hesitation with buying certain things, a lot of things, because of the simple fact that when I have in the past, it hasn't looked the same. And I feel like that's a lot of people's problems with brands nowadays is they are only suitable for the thicker girl, the more curvy girl, and it's viable you know what i'm saying y'all know how i feel about plastic surgery how i feel period is any curve any ounce of muscle anything that you need anything that you want your image to be you can build that and it will make you prouder you know what i'm saying you can work hard at it and actually build the muscle and build the fat where you want it to go and all of that go to the gym instead of actually laying on a table and getting it done and then having problems down the road is plastic surgery considered high fashion because listen it's a lot of brands and i would love to call them all out in this video but only the ones that i can vividly remember right now icon swim the one that is promoted on the shade room a lot they have all plastic models now i'm pretty sure that normal people regular people buy their stuff but i feel like the strategy now is to put a plastic girl in it and and push this image that is made for everybody and people the thing about people is they're going to want it to look just like that and i'm like that too you know what i'm saying i want it to look good in them spots that it's looking good for her but in all actuality it's not going to g suwu shane justin it's a lot of them that are more so dedicated to the plastic surgery girls you know and i say that because that's all that they put on a page if they have a new piece that they want to sell they're going to put it on a plastic girl you know what i'm saying the same for fashion nova hot miami styles the list goes on it's a lot of them that have that mindset and they build their brand around this plastic ass shit and it's not really nothing good to promote i mean if it works for you but i really would like to see a change in the fashion industry in the instagram world as well because i'm really getting sick and tired of it and i've grown you know what i'm saying i used to shop on fashion over but after a while that's how i knew i grew too because after a while i really couldn't find anything because it was hard for me to picture that on me in the same way 
You know what I'm saying? It's not going to fit the same. And I already know that. And why would you take a gamble? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I mean, I just, I just really would like to see a change. I feel like, you know, if they put regular people on the Instagram pages, if they put regular people on the ads and stuff like that, it'll do fabulous. You gotta try it out. I'm so sick of seeing these plastic girls and it, it just really does not look good to me. Like, it just, it just really doesn't. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, the only thing that I got is my voice and my honesty. And that's all I got. Like, I would love for these brands to see this video, you know what I'm saying? So share this video, get this out there. I definitely, I want the conversation to keep going for as long as possible because it's really a problem that we are promoting something that's so deadly, that people are glorifying and putting plastic surgery on the forefront and everybody's watching you know everybody wants the, the shane justin and the fashion nova and stuff like that and it's like and psychologically you're going to want to look like that girl that has it on you know because i've been through that and i'm done with it it's no reason to spend this money on this and and think about it plastic surgery is is basically you trusting a doctor with your life and that's real shit. It's real Talk Tuesday. That's real shit. It don't make me. I can't speak for everybody. But it don't make me want to buy it. I mean, if you like that type of thing, put it in the comments. But that's on you. I mean, if down the, down the line you got money to fix it, if it needs to be fixed, why even fuck with it? You know? Just love yourself. But, um, yeah. It's your girl, B. Octavia. I'm signing off. Thank you for watching Real Talk Tuesday. If you have not subscribed, make sure that you do. Share this video. I want all of these brands, all of them, to, to join the conversation. And maybe they'll change. Maybe they won't. But I'll keep saying what I said. So, I will see y'all in my next video.